achieved. All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome into Studio Day, Heffrey Day Quarantine. And today, what we're going to do is count down to Cowboys Camp. I'll try to get each position group before we get this thing going. We're six days away from the Cowboys reporting for camp. Six days. Yeah, six days. Uh, and so I want to start with the position that's most near and dear to my heart because I'm one of the finest flag football receivers in the history of the country. And um, a one-time... Abilene Christian University wide receiver, Blue Bell, yes, I can catch the football challenge champion, won that. Uh, so I like wide receiver play because I played it. Uh, so that's where we're going to start our camp countdown. We're also going to start our camp countdown there because I think it's the uh, best thing that the Cowboys have going. Their wide receiver core, if you ask me, one through three is the best in the league. So where better to start than where you're the best? Wide receivers, Cowboy Camp. I get a lot of questions from you guys in the comments, and of course I appreciate it. Make sure you're mashing that thumbs up button and leaving something in the comments. Today I want to know what animal are you most afraid of, and leave your comments for what you want to talk about tomorrow, or your comments on this wide receiver group, and who you think might make the team. Who do you think is the fourth guy? That's kind of what we're going to do here. Wide receiver preview for the Dallas Cowboys 2020 as camp is six days away from the team reporting. First three are easy, right? Mari Cooper coming off, off an almost 1,200-yard season. Michael Gallup over 1,100 yards. They're in. Uh, they're starting. And CeeDee Lamb in the slot, I do believe, the majority of the time is coming off a season where he was actually the Cowboys' leading receiver, his 1,327 yards at 14 touchdowns. Don't worry that that was at OU and not in the NFL. That's your three studs. That is what's going to dictate uh, how far this team is going to go, how good this team is going to be, and they have the potential to be really, really good because of those three guys. Uh, it's going to be a great setup. Amari Cooper plays the X. C.D. Lamb, I think, is a slight upgrade over Randall Cobb. In the long term, I think it's a big upgrade, but I think if you're going to give you know, rookie year, just get into the league, established veteran is the guy who left – I still think it's an upgrade. I think Amari Cooper will be grateful for it. I think that Dak Prescott will be grateful for it. And I think CD is in for a really big rookie year because I think he's the sort of player that is going to earn trust with a quarterback really quickly. You know, you make a bad throw and you go, oh, God, kind of missed with that one. And CD goes, no problem, buddy, I got you. And he goes and catches it. So I like this group. Amari Cooper can play the X. He's the guy who can get a clean release off of anybody right up there on the line of scrimmage. CeeDee Lamb gets to operate out of the slot. He gets that luxury. And Michael Gallup at the Z on the other side just had an 1,100-yard year and is a really nice number two receiver, which I think that's what he's always going to be, and there's nothing wrong with that. Love me some Michael Gallup. I think he's always going to be a good number two, even though when CeeDee Lamb starts hitting his ceiling on this team, Gallup might be the third guy. Uh, he'll still be, you'll, you'll end up, what you're going to end up with as the Cowboys is a one, a one, and a two. That's what you're going to end up with. Congratulations. You're winning. Now, outside of those three, this is what these, um, segments are going to be all about. Where are, what, what's the rest of the depth chart going to look like? So little preview for every guy that's currently on the Cowboys roster. People have been asking about a few of these guys individually. So we'll knock them all out in one fell swoop to me. Your top tier is those three guys. They're locks, they're in, party on. Now, we're battling for two or three other spots between right now on their roster. I believe they have 10 or 11 guys. Uh, so, here's who I believe are the favorites for those other spots as we stand today before they report for camp. Cedric Wilson. Brian Broaddus keeps trying to talk about Cedric Wilson and breaking out, and I keep telling him to shut up, you know? C.D. Lamb's time to shine. Leave me alone. I don't need a fourth receiver. But I think Cedric Wilson has a nice chance to make this team. Five catches for the Cowboys last year for 46 yards. But at Boise, he was a 1,500-yard receiver. Not a burner, but I think he's a nice route runner. He's got good hands. I like Cedric Wilson. Uh, I think he's got a good shot to make this team. He is at the top of Tier 2. And I think these two names are interchangeable as the favorite to be the fourth wide receiver. Devin Smith. Burner coming out of Ohio State, second-round pick, could never stay healthy for the Cowboys last year. Five catches, 113 yards, and a touchdown. That's over 20 yards per catch. That's kind of what you want to have him bring to the team because Cooper, Cooper's fast. CD's fast. Gallup's fast enough. They're all fast enough, right? Cooper's would win a foot race of those three in a 40-yard dash. 
But it's nice to have a guy that's just a legitimate deep threat. And Gallup has been that, despite not being a speed guy. He is a deep threat because he can play a ball in the air. He can battle with DBs down the field. He can win that battle. He can go get the ball. But it's nice to have an added speed element from a guy who's a depth piece. And if he's able to return or be on kickoff teams, that's great. That's one of the things that I think will determine at least one of these spots is which guy is already blowing up Bones Fossil's phone. Like, all right, I want to be on kickoff. Man, I want to be on punt coverage. I want to do all these different things. Because if you're going to be a depth guy and my top three are so super established like the Cowboys are, special teams can be one of the differences. Know the playbook on day one and want to be on every special teams and play super duper hard every time you get into a practice. So Cedric Wilson, Devin Smith, and then I would throw in Ventel Bryant. He had one catch last year's 15 yard touchdown, but that's what he was. They took him off of the Bengals practice squad and he was a special teams guy. He's running down on kickoff. I believe he was on the punt team, probably on the punt or the kick return team, but special teams. And then if you get in a game as a wide receiver, so be it. But if you're going to be the fifth or sixth wide receiver, you've got to be on a bunch of special teams. So Ventel Bryan, I think, has already shown that he can do that. And so he has a possibility to make this team. And the last guy in tier two of the wide receivers trying to make the Cowboys for me right now is Noah Brown, just because he's been around and he's been in the league. You know what? What I'm going to do? I'm actually going to move him down. He's not in that group. I will say... The favorites, obviously, your three starters, and then Cedric Wilson, Devin Smith, Ventel Bryant. If I had to guess today, I'd say that's probably your six wide receivers. Noah Brown, I like him. He's a nice player. But Garrett loved him because he was a good run blocker, which is a weird thing to love in a wide receiver. Um, He had some flashes in college. I believe it was an Oklahoma game where he scored three or four touchdowns. It was insane. Uh, And he's, he's a nice little player, but... I don't know that he is going to take a spot from any of those three guys above him. Now, we move into the other guys who I think a lot of people will be interested in. And these are the guys that get the hurt that get hurt the most by the way that camp is going to go, by the fact that there are no preseason games. John V. Johnson, one of the camp darlings last year, who I actually liked coming out of college. It's another speed guy. But, you know, you got him into the games, and suddenly the dude couldn't catch. If you can't catch, can't make the team. But if he impresses in the same way, I don't know. Because now he's not going to get games. You don't get preseason games to show. No, no, no. Sorry about that. I'm good now. Uh, but John Bay Johnson out of Toledo. He's fun. He's fun. He showed up a lot in the one-on-ones in training camp last year. And then just struggled to be able to secure the football when it came to game time. So I'll put him as the guy that leads this next group. But they're all just kind of thrown in there to see, hey, who can impress the most when we actually get out there and we're actually practicing other names, a lot of people have asked about Kendrick Rogers, Texas A&M, six foot four. He's a four or five guy. This is going to be tough for him, just because of the number of opportunities that you're going to get. You know, um, six four and running a four or five is a nice start. And there's a couple of games you can go back to and watch him in college and go, okay, man, I really see what you would like there. Most notably would be 2018 against Clemson. Uh, And then 2018 against LSU as well. 2019 against Clemson. He had a solid game. (laughs) Excuse me. I know there's a lot of interest in Kendrick Rogers among Cowboy fans. I just, I think it's a tough ask. At A&M, he was more of what you would call a flash player, where if you just watched in 2018 and you saw them play Clemson or you saw them play LSU, uh, that was my first exposure to Kendrick Rogers were those games. And I was like, holy crap, that big dude on A&M is a baller because he made some really big plays in those games. But he never had more than, I believe, his highest receiving yards here was 350-something. So he was never a big production guy. Combine agilities are just meh. Um, He just had some some games, and he's a big target that can run okay. I don't know. That's the kind of guy that's got to tear it up in preseason, I think, to make a football team, so it's going to be tough. Steven Guidry. Very similar to Kendrick Rogers, actually. Six foot four, four four seven, kind of the same deal. Where the physical profile, you're like, man, if I'm looking for a big wide receiver, that sounds nice. As a senior at Mississippi State, 387 yards, five touchdowns. So again, power five guy, very little production as a college player. Um, the shuttles, the agility stuff at the combine, meh. 
So Kendrick Rogers versus Steven Gidry is a couple of guys that I think are physically similar. Production-wise, they're similar. And let's see if one of them can sneak onto the roster. Aaron Parker. Now, he's out of Rhode Island. He does have production. At Rhode Island, 81 catches, <clears throat> excuse me, 1,224 yards, nine touchdowns as a senior. He's also 21 years old, and he ran a sub-seven-second three-cone. So, I'm sorry. Get it together over here. So, Aaron Parker's actually really interesting because you have a you have big-time production, 6'2", 209. Um, the three-cone is interesting. Being 21 years old, that's a fairly young prospect, so that's interesting. Aaron Parker would probably be out of those three my guy to watch. He's a four five seven guy, so he's the slowest of those guys that I've listed. But keep an eye on Aaron Parker. That's an interesting name. And finally, you got Tevin Jones, 6'2", 217. He's a four five three guy. He was a UDFA, undrafted free agent, in 2016. Bounced around with the Texans and Chiefs on the practice squads. He was a Steeler uh, in 2019. And I don't know a lot about Tevin Jones. Um, he's, you know, a 2016 prospect, so 17, 18, 19, 20. So he's, you know, hung around on the fringes of the NFL and got a little bit of action with the Steelers last year. Don't know enough about him to really project what he's going to be without seeing him. I've seen these other guys, whether in college tape or what they've done in the NFL. So that's your wide receivers. That's your wide receiver preview. Leave in the comments, is there a guy you're pulling for out of that group? What is the animal that you fear the most? Those are things that I'm looking for today. Uh, and go Rangers. Elvis, big single in the, was at the first inning yesterday. And then in the third, he took a walk. a boy. Let's get this thing back on track, buddy. Um, that's it. So that's your wide receiver preview for the Cowboys. The countdown to camp is on six days away. If you want, you could just um, try to bully me in the comments and tell me which position group you'd like to have me do tomorrow. And I'll try to take care of you, okay? Remember to be subscribed, youtube.com slash Jeff Cavanaugh. I appreciate every single one of you that is. Mash the thumbs up. Get up in the comments. Let's have ourselves a party. And I will see you guys on the radio at 2 o'clock on the G-Bag Nation. Texas Rangers against the Rockies starting tonight at 630 on the fan.